Bouf Get that round nice and quick. So we're just going to clean up the bottom end. Tenon on the bottom of this. And as I said, I'm going to make it quite a deep one. So I've got a bit of room to wiggle and jiggle it. If we might do a little bit of off-center turning to create the shape of this thing. Right, so we'll put it on straight to start with. I have to do that because in every video, <laughs> every live video, I go, and I put it into the, the re-edit. Right, so let's make a bud vase. It's going to be a bit of a weird shape, this one, but uh, yeah. Is it is it long enough for one of them thingies? It is. Right, here we go. So we're turning it about 3 million revs per minute now and let's do a bit of a shapey shapey of the neck I wonder if we could do an off-centered captive ring is it even possible I don't know I just thought of it there yeah let's put it off center now tighten it back up again and let's turn the bottom <sighs> right, let's let's turn that now a bit wiggly woggly right and do the captive ring and once i've done that i'll straighten it back up again and carry on from there it might work it might not it might be a complete and utter failure but at least it'll be funny watching me fail wouldn't it ah oh, look at that wibbly wobbly shake rattle and roll i say shake rattle and roll let's take some off of it and see does it make any sense at all if it doesn't look like it's going to work then at least we've got plenty of meat on it to um to decide what we're going to do with it we can straighten it all back up again i could chop into it and when i drill through the center it means that you'll see the tube down the neck Stop talking about it, Steve, and just get on with it. Just shut up. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's funky. All right, let's go a bit deeper. That's looking cool with the old twisty twist, isn't it? Oh, it's making lots of funny noises. But it's kind of cool. Whose idea was it to put a captive ring on this? Um, we are turning a kind of off-centered weird looking bud vase with a um, off-centered weird kind of captive ring thing. So I have my um, captive ring tool here that I can go in the back. Let's have a look at that so far. I don't want to. I don't want to release the ring yet. You want to sand and finish the top and sides before you release it. Part it off from the rest of the project because it's just easier to do that. It's a nice piece of wood. Stick a bit of Yorkshire grit on that. Yorkshire grit would turn as a braise of paste.
So I can hear that that's about to go, so I'll go from this side now. There you go. And that's now loose. I always kind of leave the bottom on it until I've kind of shaped the rest of the stem and then I can put sandpaper on the stem and, and sand the underneath of the ring. But I'll leave it there for now. I'm going to clean up this where it was and then we'll put it back straight again and maybe work on the neck. And now I'm just going to shape this, clean up where it was. Okay, I've gone down as far as I want to go with that now. So I'm now going to move the captive ring, captive ring down. So I'm just going to blend this in here like this. So we've got a bit of a stem going on there. And then I'm going to put this back straight again in the chuck right let's put that in there straight again and now all we're going to do now is we're going to work on the the top rim and kind of see can we bring this bit there's quite a big bump here we're going to bring that down a bit and try and blend it all in and then we can start shaping the bottom so it just means that the stem and the captive ring is off set center from the rest of the bud bars. So I just want to Oh, that's looking cool. I like that. How do you like that, folks? I'm going to put it off center the other way now. In fact, I'm going to go off center completely the other way and put a bit of a twisty in it uh, I wasn't there so I think I'll go kind of there in fact you know what I'm gonna go extreme and go there what do it Steve Excuse me while I talk to myself. See where it's going. Oh, yeah, that's good. That'll give it kind of a twisty, twisty look. Right, now let's put it on a different angle again. And I think this will probably be the last one before we do the final. Right, so I'm going to take this down to a rounded shape here. Just want to make sure that's the right move that I was going to do. Yes, that's exactly what I want to do. So it's kind of given it a twisty twist look um you probably can't see it there but it looks as if someone's got hold of the top of the um vase and the bottom of the vase and then gone <coughs> and twist twisted it like a can if i put this purple one into it i think it'll look cool with the color of the wood so now i need to just Get this here, part, uh, yeah, 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 that's all, folks. No, um, I need to get this captive ring, is what I'm trying to say. And I need to sand it. So I need to put it back in the position that it was in. So that has just put it back to our first off-center turn, where we did the captive ring. And I can put... <laughs> Some sandpaper on this now. Stick some sandpaper on the. Um, right. Oh, look at that. 
scratch. Just we need to super glue this sandpaper to the workpiece. So that's what we do. You uh, fix a bit of sandpaper to your workpiece, and then that becomes the tool for sanding the inside of your captive ring. Turn on your lathe, and then you can literally use the sandpaper on the workpiece for sanding the inside of your captive ring. We can pull this off now. It's going to leave a little bit of a glue mark at the two ends where I glued it, but I can just turn that little bit of glue off. When you're off centre, always remember to check your piece on the tool rest because you could put it back to a position where it was off centre and your tool rest is set to the previous turn and whack, you take the top of the piece off. Don't ask me how I know that. So I'm going to take that up there like that for now. I'm just going to clean this up. Use the sandpaper on this bit. Do a bit of blendy blending. Right, we'll put a bit of Yorkshire grit on that neck. Just while I have it in that position right now that's in straight we're going to drill the hole down the middle it is going to cut its way through the side of this. I know that. But I think it will look cool when the tube goes in. Hopefully. Anyway. Now, here we go. You can see the drill. But it, it just means that it will expose the tube when we put it in. Which means it will look cool. Well, hopefully so. Tool rest over here. Open up the hole a wee bit just so that it slides in there nicely. I'm going to use the skew on its side and um, just open up that hole slightly. Yep, that will push in there nicely. All we've got to do now is move that tape, put this over this side, and hollow out the top of this slightly. Isn't that cool with the light flashing in it. I think that's enough for that. Now that is end grain, so it's a bit a bit punky, but I, I like that. The rest we have got a crack in it just here, so I might just put a bit of super glue before I carry on, just just to stop it from exploding. Right, give that a quick sandy sand. Well, do you know what I could do, actually? Which will probably contrast it very nice. And that's all I'm going to do. Just scorch the top. Give it a bit of contrast. And then sand it back a bit. Land of me. Billy. Right, I like that, and that actually helped with the end grain situation, and it also took away the nibbity nib of 
the um, punkiness, you know, it kind of burned burned away the punkiness of it. So we'll put a bit of Yorkshire grit into it now, and that will bring out the colour of the burn. There we go. I think that looks pretty bloody nice, even though I say so myself. So I'm just going to take some uh, sandpaper. I'm going to roll up a tube of sandpaper. And I'm just going to soften up these edges just very lightly. I'm not going to push hard. You see that? Didn't take long at all and just tidied it up. So what color are we going to go with, folks? Should we go way out funky and throw green inside it? We have like a peachy pink. I think that gets lost in it. We have purple, red. What do you think? Purple it is, so. There we go. We're going to use a thin parting tool. Now, that's as far as I'm going to go. And I will get the rest of that with my Thor. Ta-da! There you go. On bud vase. Yeah, so that's it, folks. I can now do a thumbnail of me going. I will probably take the tube out again, or if I don't get the tube out, I'll put a little bit of masking tape in there. And then I'm going to hit it with spray lacquer and give it a lacquer finish. Okie dokie, folks. It's me banana. Has to be in every video, you know. Thank you very much. I'll see you all next week. You have a creative week. You have a safe week, have a healthy week, and I'll see you again on Tuesday. Until then, let's all say it together. Temple. Oh. Boom. Fucking bananas.